What's going on everyone, it's Greg back with some more A3 Still Alive. And I want to touch real quick in this video on the Anetrion or, or farming. So I want you real quick take note of the number I'm currently at, 13,328. 13, 3, 2, 8. Keep that in your head as we progress through this video. So, real quick, there are three tiers to the maps that have the Anetrion or and so if you go to special adventure and then down to Anitreon um, and enter, you can see there's three tiers. You got tier three, tier two, and tier one. So in uh, tier one, you're going to get the highest rate, 3,300%. Tier two, you're going to get a 1,700% bonus. And tier three is the normal farming area. It's pretty darn slow if you ask me. Um, I really honestly didn't bother farming tier three. As I was leveling, I kind of focused on my missions and stuff. So, tier two you can hit to get into when you hit seven million power. Um, I honestly, again, still have, I had never actually went into tier two. I'm not sure how bad it is with the PK, and you know how many other people are farming. But you got to keep that in mind. There is PK there. There's also PK in tier one. But guess what? You can only only the guilds that have conquered Scad Floating Island and Scad Sky Isle can enter the map. Now, if you have some kind of an alliance or agreement between those two guilds, because there's two guilds, between those two guilds, then you can essentially farm there peacefully, right? You separate the area, make sure people don't intermingle, and you are good to go. Well, that is pretty much the case for me. The clan, I, the guild I am in has two guilds or more on the server right now is Stark 1 and Stark 2 that currently own these two areas and we uh you basically have to fight for these once per week this is similar to Mirror 4 I'm going to reference Mirror 4 even though some people may not understand and um I'll show you real quick what's happening tonight and I will record that as well it is the conquest the conquest is in one hour and 58 minutes this is a war where you fight for the territories that so that you can get that ore farming the best ore farming possible very similar to valley war in mere four and so we won this last week i just recently i just recently hit two level 200 so I, ha I still hadn't really farmed even though we had this available um i didn't know i don't even actually know if i could farm it before level 200 i didn't actually attempt it um but now that i'm level 200 i am farming it and it actually is pretty darn good. I'm going to make sure I hit my 100,000 limit each day. That is my goal now from this point forward. And as you can see here, uh, we are up about a thousand um, or just since I started talking, it's about three minutes. So this is going to vary based on, you know, drops and stuff like that. It does use up your feathers. So keep pay attention to that. Your feathers up here um, to make sure you get your maximized uh, drops here and your acquisition. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recharge a few feathers myself. Now, w when you're farming here, you know you once you hit that hundred thousand limit, you're done, right? So you you want to make sure you hit your hundred thousand limit. And also, I hope this encourages you to try to find yourself a strong guild if you are a strong person, um, or if you're gonna go into the tier two area, probably best to go in parties or even the first tier area. Um, but it is very, very, very beneficial to win the conquest and own these areas at the end or, you know, every week. And so hopefully my guild can take it again because I am definitely enjoying this farming. As you can see here, it is going pretty darn well. Um, I am camping this one uh, like little boss thing. I don't, I don't know if it's like a full on boss or just a, a elite, so to speak. Uh, mob um so that might be slowing me down just slightly i don't know if there's a chance to hit like a nice ore drop off of him or not or maybe a nice gold drop either way um it is definitely a lot better than farming the tier three area and i greatly appreciate that so i hope this helps you guys understand how to best farm the ore or how you can more quickly farm the ore and what you should go for in the game try to find your strong clan, uh, guild you know preferably one that is winning these two areas or find yourself a strong party to do the tier two area because that's going to give you the 1700 percent boost the tier one area gives you the 3300 percent boost so this is going to give you the best drop rate in the game so 
I hope this helps you guys. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will answer them as best as possible. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Turn those notifications on, and I'll catch you in the next video.